Notice that I have a, uh, a black hole here, and I have the planet Earth. Well, we have a couple of helper things. We, of course, have the uh, ball, the hole, and the score uh, that we're keeping track of. We're going to have a couple of helper functions, one to move the ball. We're going to randomize the hole position and reset the ball position. Um, and we're going to change the ball image. Okay. Here's the magic part for uh, getting data from the accelerometer. We have a object class here, an Objective C class, that has several properties, X, Y, and Z, and also a timestamp. We also have a delegate, which is going to have our event, if you will. Uh, which gets called when we get some uh, acceleration data. It calls back with the uh, acceleration data. We have an instance of that uh, delegate. Uh, we're going to keep track of uh, x and y uh, for the uh, for the ball. We're also going to simulate um, velocity. So we have vx and vy. When we reset the ball position, we simply uh, set it to where it was from the beginning, we uh, set speed to zero, and we uh, move the actual ball object as well. I have another helper function that computes the difference between two points. I'm going to use this to compute the difference between the center of the hole and the center of the ball. We keep track of the current image that we're using, and I actually have uh, a couple of images up here. We have the Delphi logo, the Earth as a marble, uh, we have the 8-ball, uh, we have an Embarcadero logo, and a golf ball. These are all uh, ping files that are part of my project. And we're going to get those when we change the ball image. We're going to load the ping image with the current uh, image number. We're going to increment it, of course, every time we come in here. If it's larger than 5, then we have to go back to 1. Finally, we load the bitmap into the fill property of the ball. When we get some uh, acceleration data, what we do is we move the ball. Uh, so we compute the new, uh, the new um, speed, or velocity, if you will. So velocity is uh, previous velocity plus a constant times the acceleration that we just got for both x and y. And then we move the ball depending on how fast it's going. Of course, if we hit the edges, then we have to stop the ball and simulate that we're hitting the wall. Okay, so we hit the other, um, the other wall, same thing. We make sure that we check all four walls. Finally, we actually update the position of the ball to set the position x and y to the rounded numbers of uh, x and y here. Then we compute the center of the ball and the, cent and the center of the hole. And then we figure out what the distance between the ball center and the hole center is. If it's less than 10, then what we're going to do is simulate that we actually got the ball into the hole uh, and we're going to update the score. We're going to reset the ball position. We're going to randomize the hole position. And we're going to change the ball image. Here is our uh, delicate, uh, delegate function that uh, gets the did, a, did accelerate message. Uh, and it simply calls the move ball with the parameters x and y for the acceleration. When we start the project, the form create simply takes care of setting the update interval for the accelerometer. We create an uh, instance of the actual delegate, and we set the delegate of the uh, accelerometer uh, to the delegate that we just created. What this looks like on the device is like this. So here's our little game. So now we can move the planet Earth and get it into the hole. We now we get an eight ball, and we can get that in there. Uh, we can't do it. Here's the Embarcadero logo. 
it's going to go in there too. Here's the happy golf ball. He'll go in there. Oh, there's the Delphi logo. All right, back to the planet Earth. How do you take pictures? How do you pick photos from the photo library? So here I have a couple of buttons. Uh, I can pick a photo. I can take a picture. I can rotate the image to left to the right. Uh, in this application, we get a hold of the current main view controller. Uh, we instantiate a uh, objective C type called UI image picker controller. We set the delegate to a picker delegate uh, variable. And we set the source type to be, in this case, uh, photo library or UI image picker controller source type photo library. This tells the picker that we're going to pick a photo from the existing photo library. Then finally we use the view controller to present uh, the picture picker. On the camera button, we do the same thing. The only difference here is that we the source is type camera. We still do the uh, get the view controller to present the mobile view controller animated. The uh, rotation, very, very simple. Image.bitmap.rotate. Of course, in the onCreate, what we do is uh, we create the picker delegate. The picker delegate is a Objective C class. It has a event. Image picker controller did finish picking media with info. So as you can tell, this is a callback mechanism. Whenever we are done picking a picture or taking a picture, we get a callback to our delegate with the picture. So in this uh, event handler, we're going to take care of that bitmap. Of course, what we actually get is a UI image, which is a iOS type. So we have to convert that into a bitmap. We get the UI image. We take the bitmap. We set the size of it. Uh, it's going to be the size of whatever the UI image is that we have. And then what we do is we draw the UI image on top of that bitmap canvas. Finally, we dismiss the uh, controller. So here is my photo application. I can pick an existing photo here. It's rotated for whatever reason. I must have taken it uh, the other way. So we can simply rotate the picture. And there it is, correctly rotated. All right, let's take a picture using the camera. And now you'll see what the room looks like. Oh, there's a mouse. Let's take a picture of the mouse. There we go. We're going to use that picture. And there it is, rotated again.